So as we talked about indirect inhibitors of thrombin, now we have the direct coagulation factor inhibitors. Directly they can inhibit the factor inhibitors, okay? An indirect uh, thrombin inhibitor was heparin. So let's talk about direct coagulation factor inhibitors. They do not usually require lab monitoring. Very good. We don't want to do that. So these are really good to use because we are not monitoring the patients, just giving them the drug. And here we have Bivelli, Rudin, Agatroban, Dabi, Gatran. So these three, they directly inhibit the factor two thrombin. Directly inhibit factor two thrombin. Factor two thrombin. Clinical use is venous, venous uh, thromboembolism, AFAB, can be used in uh, HIT, which is the uh, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, when heparin is bad for the patient, basically. That's a really good point to remember. When the heparin is bad, you give this, uh, uh, on any of these. Um, adverse effects bleeding, idarucizumab can be used to inhibit dabigatran, very important. So you can use this, which can directly inhibit this drug, dabigatran. Okay. <coughs> and dabigatran is oral. Okay, let's talk about and uh, for this one, how this inhibits it. Well, this is a monoclonal antibody fab fragment. It binds to it and inhibits it. Monoclonal antibody fab fragment. Moving on, we have the uh, epiaximan. Let me change color. We have the epiaximan, adoxaban, rivaroxaban. So all these bands, well, the bands is over there, I get through bands, so I, I mean axabands, axaban. All these axabands, they directly inhibit a factor 10. Oral, there are oral agents. Okay. And uh, and here, there was only the Debigatran, which was oral. They're used for DVT-PE treatment, prophylaxis. Treatment, uh, prophylaxis, stroke prevention in patients with AFib. Again, it works like bleeding. You can ref, uh, reverse that with an exanet alpha. An exanet alpha. Which is re. What is this thing? This is recombinant. Recombinant modified factor XA so it, this thing itself is a factor XA but it is a recombinant modified XA which means it is an inactive factor XA so these drugs start binding to this guy here modified which is a recombinant modified factor XA so when these drugs bind to this they're not causing any bleeding Okay, so that's pretty much what we have for these. Um, but again, if you if you think about this, you are increasing PT 
NPT, right? Oh, when you give this drug, these drug, and these are oral, and uh, uh, very good to use. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, nothing else. I have. So yeah, let's move on. <laughs> 